One of most interesting features from non-relational database is its capability for having multiple documents in the same collection with different structures. It's different from relational databases, if we could make a parallel thinking in non-relational databases collections as tables and documents as records. In relational databases, it's necessary for each record has exactly the same structure as the other in the same table with the same attributes. For non-relational databases collection, it's not true. We could have each document with a different set of attributes. And it's a very positive thing from this non-relational database. And one function that allows us for explore that is the update one function that we are going to study now. This function receives three parameters. The first one is the carry object, the object that will filter what are going to be the objects that's going to be updated. The second parameter is very important also. It informs uh, through the dollar set attributes, what are the existing attributes that are going to be updated with new values or including adding new attributes to the object. Let's observe here that our collection, if you take a look, we have just objects here all with the same structure with two attributes, but they don't have any attributes to store the date, the time, instant, for instance for instance. And here we are going to create a new attribute in one single document that's named updated time and it receives the current timestamp. And here, one more very important thing about programming with Node.js and MongoDB. The native function data type date from JavaScript fits exactly as a valid type for MongoDB, so no transformation is necessary. It's very good for working with dates. And once executing the function, we have a callback function that's the third parameter that will have an error object if there is some and one result object when the processing is successful. And now let's run its code and take a look at its outputs. So running the code, before taking a look in this quite huge um, output object, let's take a look in our database. Here we had this original data, now let's refresh that. Here we have one existing attribute that was updated with new value and we have a new added attribute just for this single object. So the operation was run properly and now we can take a, a short look at the result object, looks how the, the tail it is, but basically need to know if it was uh, execu executed properly or not, this boolean flag in the result object and the number of modified documents. How other informations could be used in a more particular informations and contexts. So here it is, one example of the update one method, a very interesting feature that allows us for exploring the non-relational databases.